What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. We are recording, folks, so this is the first big cap webinar of 2020, yeah. and of all time, really, in MIC. So it is Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. All day. We're going to talk about the fallacies of big cap trading the stuff that people think keeps them from trading big caps so let's jump right into it number one this can be worded two ways really the first is i'm a small cap trader and i'm still losing so learning to trade big caps wouldn't do me any good if i can't trade small caps i can't trade big caps or another way of saying that is i'm a small cap trader and i'm still losing maybe i should go trade big caps both of which are so, oh, it's just the worst. It's the worst way of thinking. It is the absolute mm -hmm. worst way of thinking because, 100%. and I know Sam can, can attest to this because I use the same exact process that MIC teaches every single trader. I use the same process in trading big caps as I did in small caps. The difference is, is I don't wake up at 4 a.m. anymore to get the locates. I don't have to do any fucking fundamental research. Like, I, mm -hmm. bro, Sam <laughs> wakes up at like 11 a.m. market time, comes into the little group, and he goes, What's up, guys? Just shorted some lift. Oh, I'm up to the already. How are you guys? What up, fam? <laughs> and it's just, in my robe. <laughs> it's just, yeah, in his robe. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's, now I'm going to go get some Jersey Mike's. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I haven't gotten in a while. Dude, that's what it is. And so, <laughs> <laughs> that's you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the fallacy oh. here is that small cap trading, if you fail in small cap trading, you should go trade big caps. No, no, it, that's, that's not how you should think. It's not how you should think. The process of trading small caps is the same as trading big caps. They're just bigger ranges. You deal with a bigger price range, so you have to – dude, you can't – like a small cap, there – it will, you know, you're short and small. Let's like, let me, let me say, for example, like this is the, this is the example here. So like if we were to like draw it out, like you can draw. Oh, sick. like this is the setup, you know, like, Oh, that's mega slow. Whoa. Dude. Oh, I, sh I would have shorted right there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I would have shorted that top. Point, right? Here's the point with this is that like, let's say in small caps, like, you know, pre-market high is like a really mental level, right. To stop out. If you're a short, like you're in longs love to buy that. Like a lot of chat rooms will alert that they're like pre-market breakout. Let's get it. And, and so in small caps, it breaks by like three cents. What do you do? Me? No, not too much. It breaks by 10 cents. You're like, okay, I'll stop out. But if it breaks by 10 cents in a large cap, that is the meh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, dude, I've watched, I've seen Sam, I've seen Sam go, <clears throat> I'm going to stop out at 42. If it breaks, it goes to 42.50 and stops. And he's like, no, I shouldn't have stopped out. I'm still in. <laughs> and I'm like, what? But it's because <clears throat> you have to withstand a larger price range. It, you mm -hmm. have to be able to handle a larger price range. So small cap trading doesn't really just transpose right into big cap trading. You ha there's some things you have to change. And the main, the main things you have to change have to deal with the range of the stock, the ability and where it can go. No, you do not need a bigger account. Uh, ATR is a good metric to be aware of. Yes, yes, I agree, Brian. I watch mm -hmm. ATR on stocks. ATR that's is usually that's usually how I pick my strike prices when I pay, when I play options. Is uh, I will look at like one ATR away from where we're like. Let's say we're trading at forty, and the ATR is two bucks. So I'm probably going to pick a strike price. It's like forty two, and if, so if there's if there's interest in the eight in that level in that price level then maybe i go with that strike price but um it's always best to try to stay as close to any money as you can i do use sometimes rsi 
<coughs> but I don't I like, I, I, I like rare. It's only if I'm in the position and then like, I'm trying to either cover or like whatever the case is, or sometimes entering. And then I'm like trying to see whether, you know, just what it says, if it's overbought or oversold, I might, you know, if I'm like looking to cover and I say that, or I see that it's, you know, oversold, I'm like, shit, it probably is a good time to cover some at least, but. Bro, that's what I love. That's what I love. Same for like entries. Let me just kind of dictate. I I know this will be, this will be something that people get to see here. And I'm going to show you guys something a little different. So here is something I absolutely love. Let's say this. This is your chart, right? And right here. First bounce right there? (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) And then this is your RSI right here. So so you've got RSI, it gets really overbought up here and it comes back down. It comes to oversold here and it starts to pop. And then we cycle back to overbought there and we come down here. But then let's say we start to go into this like consolidation range like this and we're not really doing anything. And we're the RSI is climbing like this. So if the RSI is climbing, then when it goes and pops a little bit, I'm not really concerned because the RSI is almost overbought. And with that little pop right there is going to put it into overbought. So that means that there's going to be more selling up here. And that means this bounce is less likely to work because there's just too much buying met with supply. And so then that's when you get it and it ends up looking like that. That's the last little relief bounce. And so... Like when shit starts to go into consolidation like this right here and the RSI starts going overbought, um, dude, I'm like, yep, yep, dip's coming, dip's coming. And RSI does not work in small caps because small caps are fucking Pretty much. psychological. They're all psychological. Big caps, RSI mm-hmm. works. You got to know how to use it, but it works. It's an additional confirmation to your trade. It works. I use it every day of my life it has kept me out of trouble so many times and given me additional rsi is really good giving me additional confidence that it's gonna work out all right guys have a great evening all right guys see you later buddy see you joe thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here